Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 795. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 795 to 796, click on the link below the video. Hey, here we have a data set properly set up, transactions, each row is a transaction, field names at the top, and this is payroll data. So employee one has all these individual uh, transactions. Right Here's allowance one, here's allowance two uh, for the 28th. Here's uh, tax number one on the 28th. And we need to create these reports and uh, do it quickly. So here's just a small data set. So really, it's taking transactional data in a properly set up data set and uh, creating these reports. We're going to do this with a pivot table and uh, some formulas also. I'm going to click in one cell in the data set. And I'm going to go to Insert. Pivot tables, pivot tables. The keyboard shortcut is Alt N V T. Alt N V T. New worksheet or existing. I'm going to say on a new worksheet. Now, pivot table. You can see there's like a little picture right here. There's the uh, row headers, the column headers. So row labels, column labels are what they uh, call them. We want fiscal period. I'm going to drop to the columns. Uh, amount type, that's the wage, tax, deduction, etc. I'm going to drag to the row labels so you can see our report start to take shape. Now I'm going to dra drag the amount down to the values. And now the whole trick here is going to be employee. We want to do it, drop it into the report filter. The report filter is great because you can filter the entire report. So we, we can use the report filter to just show employee number one, for example. But there's a great feature. Now, before we uh, invoke this great feature, there's a great uh, feature show filter pages uh, that'll just automatically create uh, a new sheet for each employee with the same report. But let's uh, look at this a little bit. Grand totals, I don't want grand totals. That's adding up taxes and wages. Wouldn't that be great? You know, you get your paycheck and you have your your w gross wages plus they added all your taxes in. That'd be great. So we need to turn this off. I'm going to go up to the pivot table. Uh, ribbon tab here, go on to design, and I'm going to say grand totals. Show on for rows only. So right here, it's OK that we add up the allowance one, tax one, tax two. You could turn those off too. We will do a formula down here, but not until we do our little uh, magic. Let's add a little bit of formatting. I'm just going to add some of that. All right, now what, what I'd like to do is actually create a formula here and then tell the uh, show report filter pages to create the pivot table and the formulas, but that's not going to work, so we're going to have to add the formulas later. Let's just see how this works. I'm going to go up to Options. So pivot table tools, options, and then this option button, and there it is, show report, report filter pages. So when I click on this, it's asking, it's saying, hey, show all report filter pages of. And if we, we only have four employees, so it's going to create four new sheets, each with the employee name. If we had, you know, 10 or 20 employees, it would create 20 sheets. So I click OK. And just like that, I have a summary report. There's employee two, there's employee three, four. Now I'm going to come back over here and type something like pivot table. I double clicked it, typed, and hit Enter. Now, I need a formula here. And I don't want to have to create it on each sheet, create it on each sheet, create it on each sheet. So I'm going to select the first sheet. And to highlight all four sheets at one time and then drill the formula through, I'm going to hold the, click on the first one, hold Shift, click on the last one. You can see they're all highlighted. Now, anything you do in this mode means that if you do something here, it's going on to all the sheets. Now, you got to be careful here because you can destroy your spreadsheets if you accidentally have this highlighted and you think you're doing something to just one sheet. But I want to do it to all sheets, so I'm going to click here and type net. And then I this is a pivot table, so if I make a formula like this, it's the get pivot table. Uh, data function, which I do not want here. You, you can turn this off up in um, File, Options, uh, and turn it off. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to create my formula um, from scratch. So B8 minus the sum of B7 
colon B5. Nice thing about this range finder is I can clearly see, I'm a bad typer, right? But I can clearly see that the green boxes and the blue boxes are going around the correct location. So I control enter and then copy it over. And now I'm going to highlight this and add some formatting, say, like that. And now when I go and look on each sheet, no way. So that's called drilling through. That formula went into each sheet and is exactly what we want. Now we have to turn this off. You can either right click ungroup or you can click on a different sheet. So there you have it. Uh, we have created uh, quickly a bunch of reports that show, uh, go from our transactional table here into these individual reports. All right, we'll see you next trick.